All right, guys, so Blaze here. I am a Tech 3 at DGE9, and I'm going to be making some videos. The, this first video, I want to kind of outline structurally how our conveyor is wired. Um, just kind of outline where those wires go um, so that in future videos, it can help us out with understanding some troubleshooting techniques. All right. So to start, we have our plug. Right, plugs into our power drop. That's going to bring power through here and into the top left of our control box. All right, and then this <clears throat> goes to our straight to our busman 20 amp fuse right here. Um, so from that power drop, you're going to have a neutral wire, ground wire that are going to go to the terminal block. All right, um, and then your neutral wire comes through. You're going to have a neutral wire that goes out to your speed box, a neutral wire that comes. Um, here to your 24 volts DC adapter. Um, you have your ground wire that comes to the terminal block. It's a ground wire that gets sent to the to the speed box. It gets sent up here. But the main wire that we really care about is our 120 volt line. So we have a 120 volt line that comes straight into this busman fuse, goes through the fuse, and it comes out the other side of the fuse as 1L1. 1L1 loops around to the bottom. All right, and then it gets jumped right here to two. One of the 1L1s leaves and comes to our 24 volt adapter. The other 1L1 comes around and goes to the bottom of this relay. Um, and for now, we'll continue on with the relay portion. So the 1L1 comes through this relay. It comes out the other side of the relay as 2L1. 2L1 loops around the top, all right, and then comes out the bottom um, and it goes into our speed box. So it leaves go back here. So it leaves out through the bottom and goes to the speed box over here. All right, it comes into the speed box um, as, as well as your neutral wire. You're going to have your um, 120 volt and your neutral wire comes through the speed box. It gets converted to its uh, DC voltage that runs the motors comes out the other end as now A plus and A minus. So it comes back into our control box. All right, comes in. And again, it went in as 2L1. It came back as A plus and A minus. Your A plus and A minus are going to go through the terminal block, and they're going to feed through the middle up here. Now back to the other line. The other 1L1 that looped around to this, bottom of this 24 volt DC adapter all right that's basically where it ends and then at the top you have your 24 plus 24 line and your 0v line that loop back around this plus 24 line it loops over here and it actually ends up coming through and looping back around to the bottom of the relay over here um, so this is a 24 volts DC relay that gets energized by the 24 DC voltage that's going to be one of your lines that provides that voltage, the 24 that loops back around. The other line comes into here to terminal block. And then at this terminal block, you have your plus 24, your 0, V, and your 1. Um, those three lines are basically your control lines. And so you get one of each that goes through this middle. You get one of each that goes um, to these, to, out to these switches. Um, and then there's all in this particular line. There's also a photo eye involved, where there's a uh, these these feet of photo eye as well. All right. Um, now we're going to look at the wires that go up to the middle. I'm just going to go back here real quick. Here's here's this line that leaves that feeds the switch, right? And here's this line that leaves and feeds <coughs> switches as well. And then. The ones that came up through the middle, right? They go, th they run through this uh, conduit tube, and in this tube you have one of each, one plus twenty-four, one zero V, one one. All right, you're also going to have a ground, and you're going to have a, the A plus and the A minus. All of those run through the middle here, and here's inside the box. So your control lines, the three lines that run your um, go through the, the create the yellow line that just control all the switches down the entire conveyor. 
those go through this box and keep going straight through. And we'll look at we'll look at that in a second. Um, now your ground it jumps into one of these Wago connectors here, all right, and it actually splits one ground ground to this ground screw here. One goes forward, um, and one this light green one it goes into the motors or into this motor, and then you have your A plus line which is going to be your neutral here. It splices in, one goes forward, one goes to the motor. And then you have your um, your hot wire for this motor. It's There's another Wago splicer here, right? It plugs in there, splices, one goes forward, one goes to the motor. And the one that goes to the motor actually runs through a fuse too. There's your fuse. Now those three that kept going forward, and then as well as the ground and the... and the A plus and A minus lines, the motor lines that also splice out and go forward. They come down, come down the, and then um, go down the conveyor. They come down these lines here and they feed through this terminal block. And this is how your, the length of your conveyor, how it continues to send those lines forward. So your A plus, A minus and ground, they'll go through the terminal block and they'll come through, make a little DC plug. And then about every three motors, there's one of these junctions and they'll loop around to the next junction and just continue to, to send those lines down the line, as well as these three, the plus 24, the zero and the one. These will feed through as well, create these yellow cables, uh, the, and these yellow communication cables will also come around at each junction. So that's the basic layout of the electrical in our conveyor. And, you know, understanding this layout um, is the first part. You understand the structure, you understand where the wires are going then it makes troubleshooting infinitely easier. So, all right, thanks for watching. And next up, we'll have, we'll start coming out with some videos on some troubleshooting tips.